Hello, hello, beautiful Scorpios. What is going on? It is Intuit MCA. Welcome back to another Tuesday. We are going to go ahead and do you Scorpio, some moving in some riser and or cross watching me and you watching for a Scorpio because your ass being nosy. This is going to be for your Mars, your Mercury, your Jupiter, your Pluto, whatever y'all want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and look into your finances for the rest of the week. Like I said, yes, it's going to be finances. No, this is not going to be a motherfucking love video where you're asking me who's coming in, why they just enjoy the video. And do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Oh, oh now I stay knocking this shit down. A little clumsy right now. I've been up since 4 in the morning, y'all. I'm up. I've been up all day doing stuff this entire week. Your girl been busy. We're going to get these videos together. Like I said, only for Scorpio. Some of it is rising and Mercury, Marty, Jupiter, whatever I want to call it. And all you guys could be cross watching, watching for a Scorpio. We're going to get ahead into it with this wisdom of the Oracle. See what are the main messages for your finances, Scorpio. Like I said, this is going to be for finances, it's not about love. Y'all want love? Go watch the other messages for last month that I went ahead and posted. Or for the last week, but you know, it was last month, last week that I posted y'all love messages. This week, we're going to focus on money. Let's see here. For Scorpio, some minutes horizon. What is the first message for their finances regarding this video? Community. Okay, you, you, maybe you doing something for the community. You might be getting uh, support from the community. Maybe y'all, y'all can't pay a bill, or maybe y'all a little tight financially right now. Maybe I got a lot of important things going on. Look, milk and honey. The spirit say you still got it though, Scorpio. You still got it. It's okay. You still gonna get your milk and honey. You got eight, five, and one. If y'all hear noise, that's just my neighbors, y'all. So I be nosy. I got neighbors. Yes, I said it. <laughs> Look, truth be told, spirit said, truth be told, it will be okay, Scorpio. You just gotta keep putting your best fucking foot forward. Things are ought to happen in life. That's like the spirit said, never forget where you came from and who you are, Scorpio. Stay true to yourself. Truth be told, you got to take off that mask and start and start really going knee deep into your finances and asking yourself, like, what is it that you want? Where, where is this money going? Where can you where can you put your money towards? Look, buy the book. Since you go and buy the book, you know what I'm saying? You went from a little motherfucking elephant to a medium-sized elephant to a big elephant, and you just gonna grow bigger. You grown big because you because you went through through your community. You asked them for resources. Maybe you asked your community for a little support, and then you you got your milk and honey. You got your your success. You got your pentacles back. What's this main message? Look, chop wood. Spirit says some of it gotta be chop wood, but some of it ain't for you, not for you. If it ain't for you, spirit said it will not be for you. So if you wasn't meant to buy that car or purchase that thing, don't worry about it. And then it says, look, a message in the bottom. I keep seeing this too for y'all water signs. And I really keep seeing a message in the bottle, two be told, and then that other card that I kept seeing. Um, when it says uh in between or unfinished symphony. So a lot of y'all had some unfinished stuff y'all had to, to pay out. But y'all mending that shit though. But like I said, with this community card, you got eight and you got 51. You got 14 and 11. Uh, 11, 11 means make a wish. If y'all see in ones a lot, I feel like I need to make a, a message for water signs about ones because I keep seeing ones in y'all videos here. But like I said, community, this is eight. So AA talks about a community getting help and finding resources around that. And then milk and honey with this 51. Five plus one is six. One plus four is five. So there you go. And then one plus one is two. You got two up here as well. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the 42 up here. Okay. That's how I'm, I'm basically looking at it. Even though 51 is the highest number, but the 42 is up up in front. Like I said, y'all community is going to help y'all, Scorpio, whatever situation y'all going through. And y'all getting help. Just like in that movie, The Lion King, when Simba he needed some support and and what the that pig and that motherfucking little swampy ass motherfucker did i forget i i don't think that's a slob i know it's not a slob i'm not sure what animal that thing is but motherfucking puma was always there to help him okay and whatever the fuck that little guy's name was but yeah milk and honey y'all gonna grow financially y'all gonna have your, your success you're gonna be bathing that shit and then truth be told, Spencer, truth be told, you are just starting out, Scorpio. There is never a time in life where you are going to lack financially. It may seem like things are going slow. That's that's everybody. Everybody's money moves slow depending on where they're at and what you're doing with your finances. But no matter what, 
life is gonna move slow regardless to teach you things to show you how to like you know make better decisions in your own life financially by the book you went by the book okay you followed the trail you learned your lesson you gained the knowledge now you can have exactly what you need okay when I see like those little those little things on the top here, I've seen like wands, like a lot of wands in it, and then chop wood with the main biggest message is spirit says some of that shit you're gonna have to cut off. You're gonna have to put an end to it. Because if it's not serving you a financial factor, like if it's not serving you a purpose, why are you spending all like me? I like my Starbucks, but I know if I want Starbucks, I don't have to have Starbucks. Man, listen, one of my friends told me if you cannot buy two of it, what are you doing buying one of it? Because what if you can't buy the one the next day and the next day after that? Some things you're just going to have to cut back and say no to. Ask yourself, is it really important to buy that shit right now? Or do you just want it? And wanting the need is not the same thing. I learned that in that movie, Princess and the Frog, where she said, wanting the need is the same thing? No. She said, she said let me tell you something now. Because she was trying to teach Tiana, the frog at the time, a valuable moment about wanting and needing. She wanted to start her business. She had the money the motherfuckers didn't want her to have her business. But Prince Naveen was like, I see something in you and they fell in love okay but let's go ahead and use this divine goddess oracle messages to see what other thing like i said chop wood y'all need to go ahead in and chop that shit up and stop playing with yourselves financially scorpio because then you be crying to mommy and daddy be like mommy daddy i'm god they don't want to hear that scorpio you gonna thug this shit right out like how you always do you would cry behind the scenes but in front of everybody you be laughing and smiling you go home you like choke me told i'm fucked up and that's okay to be honest with yourself. But Scorpio said, you ain't ever gonna wash some sweat. <laughs> what is the first message here for Scorpio? Look, be open to change. Be receptive to new experiences. Growth leads to change. Like I said, you, you just need to change up some things. Change up some things. Let's see here. Look, putting in that work. You put in the work. You went by the, you went by the book. You put in the work. Action that help achieve goals, building the path for success. You building your path for success. You being honest with yourself. Two be told, spirit said, you gonna get your milk and honey. Look, moving on. Endings that bring in healthy beginnings. You moving on from things that no longer serve you with that chopped wood financially. And then last one here, look, wisdom. Like I said, I've been seeing this too. A lot of y'all water signs. Knowledge gained through experiences from a wise counselor. Like I said, some of y'all could have learned all lesson financially about you know doing something maybe you did something last year that wasn't so good scorpio and you kind of regret it but you like fuck it in the moment scorpio has got that way about them where they be like oh fuck it in the moment and they kind of look back and be like damn I don't, I don't know why i did it like that but someone was like in the moment y'all just be in the moment sometimes being in the moment is not a good moment to be in sometimes being in no moment is a good moment to motherfucking be a little twin flame on the bottom let's see this and oracle that i didn't forget about these messages i know y'all like she backtracking no i'm not <clears throat> see here for Scorpio, some of it is rising. The first message from the end. Look, remember an awakening. Just remember and have that awakening. Be honest with yourself. Okay? You're getting community help. The, your community is always there for your friends, your family members, anybody, everybody who really loves you is going to be there for you. Look, sun strength and empowerment, and you are very strong. You are a lot stronger than what you think you are. Like I said, you be crying, but then once again, you be laughing in and be ha ha in your own space. Don't be lying to yourself like that. Be honest with yourself. Family commitment and it says, um, home. You're gonna have by the book, you know, you're gonna have someone help you financially by the book too. Look, spine watching and introspection. Someone could be watching you grow financially, they could be hating on you. That hit the floor, so I ain't taking it. Look, regret and repression. Truth be told, you kind of regret and have some kind of repression towards your finances. Look, thoughts and isolation. And you thinking about some things. Like I said, you thinking about, I'm, I'm going to put that with chopped wood. You thinking about how you need to move on and heal. The dark night of soul. Like I said, you you act crazy at the house, but outside, you don't let them see you sweat. Okay? Financially. Let's see here for Scorpio. Look, transcendence, unity, you coming into a... a uh, uh, a more stable, more passionate connection with your finances. You being more stable, of higher self activation. Your higher self is telling you that your milk and honey is coming. You just need to to give it some time. Let me pull one more, make it even. Okay. Well, this one hit the floor, so I'm gonna take this one on the table. Look, spiritual assistance. Mm. 
Y'all having spiritual assistance. Your spirits are here to assist you. They said, we're not going to allow you to not have your milk and honey because you do deserve it. But at the same time, what are you going to do when you get it? Are you going to get back to your spirits or are you just going to be greedy and hold it off for your motherfucking self, Scorpio? Spirit said, don't do that. If you know someone who is there to help you, help them out too. Because if they helped you and you don't help them, what does that say about you, Scorpio? You just being very selfish and very motherfucking greedy. I get it. You want what you want. You like what you like. But that don't mean you got to just forget about the ones who was there for you. Look, nature and compassion. Spirit says, show your finances some nature and compassion and stop being in confusion and, and, you know, being delusional about it. And be honest with you, look, three swords. You could be betraying yourself financially. You could be making these big-ass purchases that you do not need to be doing right now. Look, the sun card. You just want to be happy. You say, fuck it. While I'm here, I might as well do the damn thing. The spirit says, sometimes doing that is not a good idea. I had to learn that my damn self a few times while I sat back and was like, damn, I could have waited to use that money or, or done something else with it. Let me see here. Yeah, like I said, or maybe this is your spirit watching you. They watching your every move financially and making sure you don't make no more fucked up decisions. Do we open a change? That card also hit the floor. I'm not taking that. What is the first message here for Scorpio financially? Look, nine of swords. You, you in your head. You kind of regretting some things. Chris said, your time is to come. You just got to move away from that shit. Look, ten of swords. Sorry, ten of wands. At first, this is not baggage. This is a lesson learned. This is you growing. This is you healing financially. Look, the moon. You don't need to be in the dark night of the soul no more. You don't need to be betraying people and hiding how you feel. The nine of cups, where it said, right now, this is not your time financially. Y'all could have lost a job or, you know, moved away from a situation that wasn't helping you financially. Your community will be helping you, though. Look, two of cups. Even though we're not talking about love, maybe you need to put more love into your finances. Look, eight of wands, this is community help. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all will get a lot of vivid communication from people in your family or your community that want to help you. Look, six of cups. You got people who are on your team from maybe your childhood, seven of wands, and do not be guarded about this situation. Do not be guarded. Do not put your walls up. Page of swords. Like I said, y'all need to fight the situation. I know they look a little messy. I'm trying to fix these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put one more card, and then we're going to get some other cards. Look, nine of pentacles of earth. Right now, Spirit said, no milk or honey will come later. Right now, Spirit is teaching you a valuable lesson trying to make sure that you guys do not repeat the same cycle y'all could have been i feel like for a lot of times right now y'all biggest problem is not spending and holding back and asking for help even though y'all don't want to but the eight of swords you stuck you stuck on this outcome you so stuck on on what you didn't do versus what you gotta do six of pentacles though it's coming your your upgrade look your upgrade is coming you just need to get help three of three of cups Maybe you could have a water sign or air or uh, earth sign help you towards for Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone that really give a fuck about you. That's going to help you hit this moment. But you need to make wise decisions. Okay, make better decisions. So let's go ahead and get some closing messages. And then that's going to be it for you, Scorpio. Let's get the into power messages too. And then we're going to get two of the psychic tarot. Like I said, these messages are going to be right to the point. They, these messages are not going to be that long. Like I said, Queen of Pentacles, Torch for Capricorn. I see a lot of earth and air energy, a little bit of fire, a little bit of water with that two of cups. And that three of cups, because cups is water. Pentacles, I I want to say it's Torch for Capricorn. Swords is air, General of Aquarius, and Wands is air is Leo Sag. So, y'all going to have your milk and honey. It's coming. So what are the final messages for... Scorpio and they finance. Look, nine of Raphael with the Queen of Michaels. Like I said, even though you got the nine of cups of verse here, but that don't mean you can't have no emperor. You can't have someone to come in and fucking help you. Queen of Michael, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of an experience, a time for your career rather than relationship. A lot of y'all need to not be no relationship. That's what I took cups of verse and, and mend your finances. Nine of Raphael, make a wish. Uh, dreams become reality. A time uh, a joyful time of uh, of life. A lot of y'all don't need to be in a relationship and make a motherfucking wish for that level of energy out here. Y'all need to make a wish because it will come true for you. Y'all just got to be positive about it and not be so negative 
and be like, damn, spirit, like, how come I can't have this? How come I can't have this? Because, yes, you're working for it, but spirit said, you're going to have to show them you you really, you really ain't like that this time. The last time they set you up and you got fucked up, you got yourself, fucked yourself over this time. Be careful with that three of cups. Here's the last final two messages here. Look, choose wisely and prosperity begins. Seven and one. Look, another seven. Spirit said just choose wisely. Just choose wisely. Choose choose what you got to do wisely. A lot of seven energy and then a lot of one energy out here. Spirit said you choose wisely. You do what's right. You could have it all. Spirit said they're not playing with you this year, Scorpio. If you fuck it up, that's that's about your own business. But Spirit said you have every and any means to make your wishes come true and have a nine of Raphael, nine motherfucking cups, and be wishful in your finances. Prosperity begins. Just grow your shit out. Let that shit grow. What are you doing? Fuck love right now, Scorpio. Get on your bag, okay? So that is going to be for it for Scorpio for some of this horizon. Or you guys be cross watching, like I said, watch for a Scorpio. Thank you guys very much. Again, for watching, my name is Jim MCA. Stay blessed, stay buttoned, stay intuitive. I will see you guys next time. Bye, Scorpios.